Today, we have a very important updates regarding the TE visa, a special immigration status for victims of human trafficking. Recently, USCIS made some key revisions to the TE visa guidance, and we will break down what you need to know about these changes. The TE visa or TE non-immigrant status is designed to provide a safe haven in the US for certain victims of severe human trafficking. This visa allows victims to stay in the U.S. for up to four years, helping them access essential support and services for recovery. Now, let's take a look at some of the significant updates to the TU Visa Policy Manual, which aligned with the final rule published on April 38, 2024. These changes effective immediately apply to applications pending or filed on or after August 28, 2024. However, some provisions won't apply to applicants who filed before August 28 if they were eligible under previous regulations. Firstly, USCIS has expanded the Any Credible Evidence provision. This is a significant step as it emphasizes a victim-centered approach. This means that applicants can submit a wide range of evidence to demonstrate their eligibility, and this will make it more accessible for victims to apply. Secondly, the guidance stresses a victim-centered and trauma-informed approach. This aims to make the application process more compassionate. And this considers the difficult experiences that many applicants have faced. The new bona fide determination process is another major update. If an applicant's case is deemed bona fide, then they may be eligible for temporary employment authorization while their application is being processed. For applicants with a bona fide case, USCIS will also review Form I-765 for employment authorization and decide if they qualify for deferred action. This provides a pathway for eligible applicants to work legally in the US while waiting for their T-Visa decision. The updated guidance also adds more exceptions to the rule regarding US departures after trafficking. In the past, leaving the U.S. could disqualify an applicant from T status, but now there are some additional allowances that are based on individual circumstances. Another update redefines law enforcement agency, clarifying who can assist in verifying a victim's trafficking experience, which is a crucial part of the application process. Additionally, the guidance requires that a perpetrator's action were intended to induce a commercial sex act or other forms of labor abuse. This is important as it specifies what qualifies as trafficking in legal terms. Lastly, applicants generally must report their trafficking to law enforcement, as this step is crucial as it establishes their experience within the legal system, which is a requirement for T status. So if you are applying for T non-immigrant status, then USCIS recommends submitting Form I-765, the Employment Authorization Application alongside your Form I-914 and good news that no fees is required for filing the employment authorization form. One last but very important note that victims of trafficking are unfortunately vulnerable to scams. USCIS warns applicants to avoid anyone who promises guaranteed outcomes or charges high fees for services that should be free. For reliable help, visit the USCIS website's Find Legal Services page to find a trusted attorney or legal advisor. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped clarify the recent updates to the T visa program. If you or someone you know is affected by these changes, then please, please share this video with them. And subscribe to Immigration and Job Talk Show for more immigration updates. See you next time.